this is croissant bread it look nice Swadika. Today we are making croissant, but I'm not making sourdough version because I don't like my croissant to be sour. So I use, there you go, active dry yeast. Okay, we have 500 grams of all purpose flour, uh, 100 grams of milk, 125 grams of water, one uh, uh, 50 gram of butter 50 gram or 100 uh, 50 gram of butter and then I have 7 gram of active dry yeast I have one whole egg I have 30 gram of sugar underneath on the top is salt I put 10 gram of salt so first we're gonna mix the dough to mix the dough, I'm going to put dry, a wet ingredient together. Start with butter, water, milk, and whole egg. Yes. And then I'm going to whisk them together. And I'm going to put uh, sugar and salt in because to let uh, them mix together well after you mix it well you put active dry yeast on top of the wet ingredient and then you mix as well so bear in mind the dough will be a little bit cold we need some time to make this long process. The reason we make it cold because we don't want the butter to be melt too quick. So this is what we do. We're going to add the wet ingredient into dry ingredient. Okay. Make sure you mix it well first before you pour into your dough. Then use your hand to it and turn it around gently when you do that you're gonna incorporate the wet ingredient and dry ingredient without mix uh, without squeezing the the ingredient just mix it nice and gently once you know the all the dough is mixed uh, all the flour absorb all the liquid then you can start Flip over and then press. Flip and press. Flip and press like that. And then, you know, turn them around. It's gonna be a little bit wet though because we're gonna roll it Okay, this hand. dough is a little bit stiff. And uh, I don't use want to a little different far, technique so to knead this dough. dough. I use my part, both hands, this to be uh, really delicious. Uh, press on the dough and push forward. The flavor like of that. the dough push is delicious. Push forward until my okay. dough gets nice and smooth. Until my dough passes window pane test. And that we dough is going to be uh, very elastic. Counter and the gluten will be strong enough so to I'll hold the butter scoop out every part of it and then we are gonna knead it don't worry if it's wet it's gonna come together later
Here I'm gonna show you how I uh, make block butter. Okay, here I cut the, I slide the butter into very thin and put into the uh, plastic bag like that this and make sure you, you know, you close the, the seam in the, on the bottom Actually, like that. Spring the and then you use a rolling pin. To roll it out the dough is evenly in resting for 30 mm. minutes in the fridge the, so the dough can be very back. nice so and elastic enough to uh, roll it out this is what i'm doing here i just way. roll it out okay, into there in my long this rectangle granite is and very like very cold when i put a block so of butter uh, uh, butter in the middle so i can fold both sides into there you go uh, you have a block of butter, butter. enough and to what you do butter. now you put in the okay i just roll it right out away. Uh, okay. thin and equal in every part of the rectangle make sure that is not one part is thicker than the other part because this is the important because you want the layer of your uh, croissant to be similar size is same thick so this is the this process first time it's going to be very important so you can see that i wrote it out my dough is been resting and very very nice and smooth to roll it out and by the way it's very elastic then i put the block of butter that i just been frozen to make sure whether the dough is long enough to laminate the butter so i just cut the plastic bag the plastic is uh, for the freezer so then i just this is the way we call lamination. So I fold both sides to cover the butter like that. And the other side. And then I try to close the seam to make sure the cold butter is blocked in the middle of the dough. And that's how we call laminate. And then close the seam tightly. Check every seam that it didn't close enough and close nicely so when you roll out the butter will be not leaking out and uh, put into the fridge for 30 minutes and this is after 30 minutes you're gonna do the first roll for the dough again you just sprinkle the flour on top of the counter and uh, put the dough I just poke my finger to see whether the butter inside is soft enough to roll it out. So the butter should be not be frozen and butter should not be too soft. It needs to be um, uh, soft enough to be rolled out and in the same time, it's not too soft to be leaking out from the dough. It's very difficult to make with uh, butter. You know, I learn that there is some uh, very special butter to make croissant uh, you can buy that from bakery but this time it's my experiment I I want to try to make the fresh croissant uh, so there you go when you try first time you'll be you will be uh, learn a lot from the process you can see that I use a lot of flour to sprinkle or over my dough just to make sure that I don't um, uh, make it too sticky and then I use my rolling pin to press so the butter is being separated nicely into every part of the dough so I make again I make it back to the rectangle shape you can see by the uh, wind of the dough I didn't squeeze it out uh, to make it too wide so what i'm doing is just roll it focus on the long side of the of the dough and then i when i get to the same side that i roll at first time then i just uh, make sure the dough is smooth because the butter inside it need to be very very smooth and then i fold in four equal part and fold again into uh, half of the four equal part 
So it's like the book, like the book and folding back. And then I uh, put in plastic bag and put into the, uh, the, the fridge again for another 30 minutes. This is the third time we're going to roll the dough. Again, sprinkle a lot of flour and bring the dough out and just press it nicely. This is a second roll, third, so what I'm doing, I'm trying to make sure it's all balanced, each press, I press, disaster the butter is gonna so I need butter to be a little bit melted so I'm gonna rest in here for a while so here gonna be disaster okay so I'm rest my dough here see that this is going to be problem if I try to roll it now so we're going to keep it now I'm going to try to find the kitchen towel to cover it okay okay after I rest on the counter for some time now I gonna roll I gonna try to roll it let's see I can or not Oh, it look better. It look better. This is what happened when you try to deal with the real butter <laughs> with our machine. Imagine you're gonna work with sourdough. Very stiff. This is active dry yeast one. Okay, look good. Manageable. See the butter? Have to be very gentle. So I'm gonna turn this way. again because it's kind of leaking okay not easy job my dear not an easy job okay after I rest for a while I know my granite is super cold so I change I put the green board here and let hope it's work so it's not super cold anymore now. So it's easy to press down. It's mean it's gonna be easy to roll it out. How lucky we are. Now let roll it out this side. Oh, it looks smooth. 
problem there to be solved. Good thing about the board, you just turn the board, not turn the door. How about that? How do you like that? I'm gonna squeeze it out a little bit long, wider. that side for three like that okay now we're gonna rest again and come back later Now we're gonna flip the dough over and don't worry if the butter is leaking uh, because we're gonna bread the, the dough anyway so just scoop whatever left out from the dough and then place it back in and uh, we're gonna make a very nice bread croissant For this one, so what I'm doing here, I'm going to roll it out a little bit. Okay. So, I'm going to make two bread. This is one bread.
พี่จับจับให้แน่ใครทำได้นี่จะกราบเลยนะเนี่ยใครทำได้มั้งคะนาวอัฟเตอร์เจอบินเรสติ้งแอนพูฟฟอร์อบาวันอัลเวอร์หรือสองชั่วโมงหรือสองชั่วโมงหรือสองชั่วโมงหรือสองชั่วโมงหรือ
is croissant bread. It looks nice. 